Okay, the first part of this video is basically to do the pencil work and the outline. Basically roughing out your shape, getting your character on the paper, and getting it ready to be inked. All you're going to need to do this is a piece of paper. I'm going to be using uh, this sketch pad uh, and a pencil. Just a number two pencil. You can use a mechanical pencil like this one, but I would suggest using just a good old number two pencil. Um, sharpen, sharpen it. Hope you get okay, I think. So let's get started with the uh, that line here. Good. All right, so now we're going to start our drawing. Um, I usually start with the eyes, and remember, this is not really so much a uh, how to draw video more than just a technique video. So, the drawing you'll have to just have to learn how to sh get your shapes and get your characters. Um, it's not really what we're focusing on here. I'm just kind of showing you the technique from start to finish. So, um, I usually start with my eyes, and I usually don't know where my drawing's going. So, um, with a light pencil. I'll just start lightly drawing some eye shapes and you can see here you can be really I mean you can be really messy with it you're not really pushing the pencil down hard draw some pupils in there they're really rough and then we need a nose shape so we'll do another kind of thing here um, <clears throat> make it like a some kind of little furry animal with the something like that Put some ears up here be funny if he had sharp teeth I don't know I'm not really doing a very good job here. This is not very good. I'm not very good at doing these kind of things. So now, um, if you got a basic roughed out pencil sketch now, now what we can do is we can go in and start to uh, basically tighten this up into something that we can use. So, so what I use these outlines as is basically a guide, a guide to do um, our, our refined drawing. So, uh, let's just, just go in here and kind of tighten it up. And I'm still, I'm still not pushing really hard with the pencil. I'm pushing a little harder than I was before, just so I can see uh, certain lines here. Then I might use this outline just to do not so much um, following the circles I drew. I'm just using those as a guide to start drawing my base character. I'm just tracing over those rough lines. And um, if I see somewhere in my sketch where I know I don't want it, I just, I just don't bother tracing that line. So like these teeth, I scribbled here. But I can come in here when I draw them and actually draw them in more like teeth. And then we'll put, uh, just put a little chin down here. I'm not going to put a whole bunch. And then like, my sketch doesn't have cheekbones, but I, I feel like I think I want a little bit of a cheekbone maybe on both sides. Then have that maybe curve back in. Then we'll draw the ear. When I draw my ears, I always seem to put, uh, like right here on the ear, I always put like little spikes going in towards the ear to kind of mimic like the hair, little hair spikes, and then it wraps around. <clears throat> this is kind of a dumb character but here's a little eyebrow put some eyebrows like not so much these are not really eyebrows like hair they're more just like the the skin to give a little depth around the eyes I don't know 
And we'll draw a couple little circles there. And I don't know. I think that's okay for our sketch. So that's about as far as you got to get on your pencil sketch. That's all you got to do. Okay, this next part, what we're going to focus on is basically just outlining with a pen of what we just done in pencil and then erasing the pencil. Um, it's a very quick step, so I'm just going to shoot through it really quick and go ahead and get to the painting step. Alright, so this part of the video, what we're going to be focused on is painting the character. I'm going to be using acrylic paint. This is a water-based paint. You can get a similar brand in your local art store or hobby store, probably Hobby Lobby, something like that. Uh, you can also use watercolors in the same way. I'm going to be using this paint uh, exactly the same. It won't make, make a difference. So that's that on the paint. Uh, what I do is I put some paint on a plate, all the colors I'm going to use. That way I can mix right here. Got a brush right here. This is, this is something the size you want. And now we can paint this shit. There we go. Done. And now we can paint this shit. Okay, so you can see my plate here that I have my paints on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let a little bit of the had black on it. Not if it's got black on it, but what I'm going to do is add some water from my cup to my plate and just add in a little bit of paint at a time so it's kind of really watered down paint. See, so like this. If you look on your, your test sheet, you can see that it's really light purple, like a pastel, which is pretty good. That's kind of what I want. So. I'm pretty comfortable in saying that this is the color that I want to paint with right here. Probably shouldn't did the lip. Oh well. I'm doing this pretty quick and sloppy. So if you run out of paint, you just need to mix up some more. And then always, always, always test it on a test sheet of paper before you put it on. You don't want it to be the wrong shade and not match what you've already painted. I'm not really particularly following inside the lines too good. I'm just kind of roughing through it real quick. Um, we're going to do a build up of an outline later in ink. So if you go outside the lines a little bit, it's not really that big of a deal. We'll just draw the lines over it so no one will know you messed up ever. If you do mess up. I'm just going quick. So. Okay. So there's the purple. Now for his nose, I'm just going to do a pink. So on my plate, I'm going to do the same thing. You can see right here is my red paint. I added some water next to it, and I'm going to just take a little bit of paint and mix that little bit of paint into the water a little bit at a time until I get a good shade. Then I'm going to take Take my test piece, see if that's the color I want. I'd like it a little more pink. It's not pink enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more red and add it to this little thing of paint I got right here. Make it a little bit more red. And then I'm going to test it on my test sheet. Now it's, it's a little too red now. So I'll add a little water because I got it a little too red. One more drop of water seemed to fix it. Test it on test paper. Okay, it's perfect. So now we can actually paint that onto our our bear character here. OK. 
Okay, and I'll add a little bit of this pink inside the ear too. Why not, you know, make him pink and purple like a Care Bear or something. I don't know. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a little bit red. That's a little bit, a little bit uh, more red, and just kind of put it on the bottom edge of this to kind of darken up that bottom edge. And I'll do the same thing up here. I'll add a little bit of pure red. It's almost just dipping my brush in the red just a little, little bit. So just just a little bit of paint. And then what you're doing is you're trying to feather that paint out from where you apply it. So if you apply it right here, you would feather that out this way, like that. See that? So it's a darker red here, and then it gradients out to almost white out here. So, okay, it's cool. Now this is the last step of this particular drawing. Is I'm going to take a little bit of black and add just a little bit of water. And what you want to get with your color is just gray. So you want to be able to get a gray. Now you can see there, when I brush that on, it just makes gray. That's perfect. You want to take a little bit of that gray that you just made and just follow the left side of the eyes, like over here. Just put a little bit there and a little bit here maybe. Then maybe a little bit down each side of each of the teeth to kind of appear to be shadow, like there's some shadow coming from, I don't know, somewhere. Also take a little bit of, uh, take a little bit of red maybe and shade some of this purple area if you wanted to kind of give it a little bit more color. Put a little red up in the cheeks. Maybe, oop, that might have been way too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply water to it, and that water is going to, uh, it's going to thin it out, and then I'll be able to spread it. And if I spread it, you won't know that there's a mistake. See there, it just spread out the, the mistake I made. And I think that's pretty, that's pretty much it on the painting part of it. I'm not going to paint much more than this. Um, we're going to bring the character to life with all the outlining. So, uh, we'll move on to the next step, which is the outlining process the final outline. Okay, this next part, all we're going to focus on is inking. All you need is a pen, any kind of one that you like to use. I uh, use a felt tip sharpie, or this is a ballpoint, ballpoint pen. Okay, starting out, what we're going to do is we're just going to start thickening up all the lines doing the thicker sections around the intersections so where two lines meet like here it's going to get really thick oops messed up that's okay we'll just make this whole thing thick this pin's not working too well Switch to a backup pin. There we go, this one's working a lot better. Kind of just copy what I did over here. So on stuff like this, where there's like a hump, like this, I like to have it go thick and then go thin right here. And then maybe get thick again right here. Then thin. And then back down to this thick area. I'll be getting a little crazy over there. Mm. 
Just remember, you're always trying to go from thin to thick to thin on the ends. Except for when they touch another line, like right here. It would be thicker. Because they're all meeting up like that. I don't know what kind of animal this is, but I think it's like a bear or something. See how I did that? I, I just basically drew a line that was a little bit off, and then I'm just going to fill it in all the way up to the top. I kind of gave it a unique look. Like this here, just did the outline again, and then we'll just go in and color in that. All right, down to this here, and round. Like this is a tight intersection right here, so we would have it go thick, the thin to thick over here like that but then we'd also have to round round this in like that You could do this with black paint too if you didn't want to color this all in with ink, but that's okay. Just do it with ink. The goal here is to get uh, to make sure that you get you know all the black colored in as good as you can. It doesn't look so crummy. Okay, so I'll finish up these ears. Okay, and teeth. Remember, long. To a point. Let's do the same thing here. Let's do these. Hmm. Make this one thicker so it kind of looks like a shadow. do is we want to go through all of it and make sure all our 
sharp corners are rounded off. So just look for areas that have corners and make sure that all these are rounded in, look really nice, clean them all up. And if you see rough areas like this, you can uh, come in here and like take the black and clean it. You really want as sharp lines with your black as possible. This is just kind of like a refining stage where you're kind of going over a lot of stuff that you already did. <clears throat> Making everything just a little bit thicker. Shaping, cleaning it up. Make sure the lines are superb. You know, you really want your... This outline is really what makes it look good. So you want to get really good at stylizing your outlining. Oh, I guess I could put these... these guys on here. Ink. Ink stop working. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna we're going to do that's that's you know good enough to show you how the outline should go. Um, it's kind of like doing some ink shading. So maybe in areas under the lip right here, um, areas in this lip would have shading like this. And what you do is you just make little lines parallel with each other. To where you would have a little bit of a shadow. right there possibly up here probably in Done.